like a lot of the street art. I think that's a positive thing for a city. Not too good, man. Would you like to be touched by those? That's going to take some scrubbing as well. Isn't it? The younger generation uses the word respect a lot. Tagging on my garage doors is just not respectful. If you haven't asked me, it doesn't look nice, and it's a constant reminder of no respect. If I leave it there, every time I open my door, I'll think that someone's just got no respect for, for me personally. The thing you forget about is just everyday people, like you're actually damaging their property didn't realise the consequences for other people's lives and how it would affect them and the costs. To remove every single piece of graffiti and tagging would cost over £5 million. Pounds. Of course, the council doesn't have this type of money. Um, we currently spend about 100000 on graffiti removal. There are several problems in, um, involved in removing graffiti. A lot of people think it's so easy to just wash off or paint out, but this is not the case. Some buildings are left full of permanent stain or a permanent mark. And, and the message I'd like to give to any of you guys that are out there, if you're thinking of doing graffiti or if you do do it, how would you feel if you woke up in the morning and the front of your house or your parents' car had been tagged or covered in paint? It's not nice. Um, and I think you need to bear this in mind if any of you are going out there doing it. In some areas, they are having to come out every day where as soon as the graffiti is removed, then it gets re-tagged. If we didn't have to do this, then we could generate the funds and, and, and put it in more positive projects. But some of these kids have got actually got some talent, and if they were diverted into doing some positive projects, like murals, for example, um, it would show that graffiti can be seen as artwork.